Now I can watch TikToks on Muslim. I love <laughs> Okay, I need, a, I, need, I need a more explanation on that one. First like, of all, what is that N-word? And then second of all, isn't there like a way you're supposed to cut the cake or something? And is that just... Were they not allowed to touch the knife Is there like a blessing? Were they were supposed to do something before they... Okay, so what does that word mean? No, not means like in a song of marriage. You just agree to marry each other in two minutes. Two minutes, you say? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you're technically not allowed to touch the other person, until you are legally married, or well, married in the eyes of God. But, but this man is literally, his hand is like three inches in front of hers, on top of this knife, like trying his best to not touch her. It's actually interesting, so you're not supposed to like touch like at all, at all? Like not even like a handshake? Ooh, he's so they're cutting the cake so he can't touch it. For real? I mean... <laughs> so like I said, that's, that's, that's a lot of discipline. I mean, you can't. Does, does everybody follow that though? Like, do some people break the rules on that? Can Can you give them a hug? Wait, the day of the wedding or just any time before that? It's a, it's a lot of conversation. See, that's funny because it's like, it's so true, it's like that awkwardness. Especially when it's your family, it's like, it's so awkward. It's like, they're all judging you, they're all waiting for it, but you know you're not supposed to do it. They're waiting to see you slip up. It's like, everyone's there with the camera, it's like the FBI is trying, it's like TNZ trying to catch you slip. It's so funny. That's actually really beautiful because at the end of the day, like, you get to learn who your partner is. Yeah, yeah it's basically marrying your best friend. Hey, aren't you hot wearing that thing on your head? Oh my god, it's literally like 90 degrees outside. Oh! oh, I would do that too though. I feel as though you have to be really bored to bother somebody while you're shopping to get food though. The fact that you will go out your way and be like, you not hot in that? Be like, no, I'm not hot. Like, that's why I wore it. Like, if I was hot, I would never wore it. Make it make sense. Like, Especially when I'm getting, when she getting cheese. Bro, it's 90 degrees. Obviously we're all hot. What do you expect is going to happen? The amount of times that I've had my hijabi friends pose the same question is absolutely insane. Yo, I find it so annoying how people just ask you random questions. Immediately, if you're wearing a hijab or anything, like, are you hot? Like, it's none of your business. It's not. If they're comfortable, let them be. I don't know, white Americans, a lot of them like have this thing where like, if it doesn't make sense to them, like why does it make sense to you? Where I feel like I was always taught to be like, mind your business, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So. If someone has a question, it's okay to ask a question. I think it's like, there's always a time and a place. And if someone's minding their business, doing some grocery shopping, you don't, don't do that. And I remember when I was younger and I literally was like, like, is it okay if I ask, like, is your mom hot? Like in the summer? And he goes, people ask that all the time. Like she just has an ice pack like stuck everywhere in the summertime. And I was like, yo, like that's pretty smart. Like if I could walk around with like an ice pack that could just like stay somewhere, I would be cool all the time. You know how that we had flip phones back then? They'd just be walking around with that thing stuck somewhere and just be like, and it's just like, it's floating. They, didn't, they had like a walking headset. And even if you wanted to know, why don't you just like Google it? You can tell when someone's actually being genuine or they're kind of making it like, you should take that off. Like, why are you? It's too hot outside to be wearing that. If you ask them generally, then maybe they'll describe to you like it's it's a it's deeper than that. It's a connection to God, and it makes them feel like they're more connected to God. I don't know what it means, but it's obviously Arabic and like from a Muslim like background. What does it mean? Because <laughs> actually, I do remember one of my friends saying, "Oh yeah, you know what he's actually saying." And I'm like, no, but it's dope. <laughs> it's a line from a rap song, and he says, ride with Minaj, mm, mashallah. Mashallah is like, you say when something's like attractive or something of a sort. Yeah, you know, honestly, that was about the funniest one. I don't really associate people who hate Muslim or Islam to be using that yeah. in a rap, because like I feel like if I were a rapper, and this is coming from a personal place as well, but. I, if I were to say that, it's almost like an like an ode, like like I yeah. appreciate you, or like you know, like I'm with you. It's I would never 
Like this just specifically is very confusing because like if you do hate them, why would you be rapping it? This is another very obvious trope. Everyone wants to use popular terms, especially if they hear them in rap verses and whatnot. Everyone just likes jumping on bandwagons is really my thing. I wish people would be a little bit more original. Unfortunately, I can't make them be more original. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. It, it's just like people who hate like immigration or people on DACA, but they, they'll be like, oh my God, pero Daddy Yankee or Bad Bunny. I love Bad Bunny. I stand with Bad Bunny. So you can appreciate things from the culture because it's, because it's benefiting you or it's suiting to you at that moment, but you don't want to be accepting enough to embrace the people. <laughs> I don't get it. Die while praying. Why would you want to die while praying? Yeah. Wait, is it, is it because if you die while you're praying, you're more holier? Am I correct? I'm just assuming we're not picking up on the reference because we don't practice Islam. Do people want to die while they pray or something? That <laughs> I understand though, because being like growing up in a church, it's like when you're praying, you're washing yourself off. So it's like you're getting ready to go to the upper room. Okay, first of all, I thought you prayed sitting down. I have a lot of questions, but I also want to know why you wanted to die praying. I guess so that you could go to heaven. That's nice. See why this is so funny is because whenever I see somebody praying, there could be like a car accident. I saw this one time somebody was praying outside and there was a car accident behind him did not move, did not flinch, was literally just like in his own commitment. <laughs> commitment to the prayer. Yeah. He's like, I'm trying to make it to heaven. I like the idea. But unless there was a murderer coming to kill me, I don't think I would have like that split second reaction where I'm like, all right, yo, it's time to pray <laughs> before I go. That, that, if someone, the murderer comes in, I yeah, mean, I'm the first thing I'm grabbing I might is, pray in my head real quick. It's I'm gonna be, all right, let's go grab something.